ukijua acha umebeba mimba uko na mimba ulipata ghafla bimfu katumbo kakamea ama kuliendaje mwezi wa pili nilienda kuona gaina kwa sababu nini ya mwezi ilikuwa inakuja ile mvua yani kama haikukama ilikuja lakini after two weeks in a span of two weeks wait a minute yes ebu turudi nyuma kidogo sijaelewa ile mvua ya wanawake na kujanga every month so what happened ilikuja tukamaliza then after two weeks na iona tena ikakuja tena so nilipoenda kwa daktari sasa wakafanya tests na hapo ndo tukajua niko na mimba mimba ya mizi ngapi kama imeenda kama mwezi mmoja hivi uli react aje uli feel aje excited um anxious kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka mtoto mwingine so it was good news also it wasn't oops ya oops not really oops ilikuwa oops ya oops yes yes nikakaa kama mwezi mmoja ndio nikamwambia bwana yangu okay wait ulikaa whole month ndio ukamwambia mwezi mmoja mbona nilikuwa naogopa in case ni lose hiyo pregnancy yes kulikuwa na signs za kulose signs ilikuwa sasa hiyo ya kuvuja damu unajua ukiwa mjamzito ufai kwa unavuja damu sasa nilikuwa nimepatiwa madawa nikaambiwa niangalie nione vile itakuwa so vile tulimaliza hiyo mwezi nikaona mambo iko mzuri i thought sasa we can celebrate Yeah. And how is it for that one month uko 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 umeanza kuongea na bwanako? Hiyo one month. It was tough, ilikuwa ngumu. Uh -huh. But then again, I just thought um maybe itakuwa vizuri nikimwambia when it's good news. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh wow, you are yeah. protecting. Uko na protect. Yes. Uh, sasa tueleze kukawaaje after those two months after bwanako ameelewa, amejua kukaendeleaje? Ndio na itilafu pia zilikuwa hapo. Daktari alisema nilikuwa na membrane ambayo yo, as, as vile mimba inaendelea kuwa kubwa mm. na hiyo hiyo kubeba hiyo mimba mm. nayo inakuwa nyepesi sasa umenieleza kwa you are married uko na mwana mm. alikuwa involved ku, 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 ku there for you ama pia ulikuwa unamkinga umwelezi vile unahisi ama vile mambo inaendelea nilikuwa namwambia mm -hmm. but uh, nilikuwa naona pia uoga yake ilikuwa zaidi kuliko kushinda sasa saa zingine naona ni nyamaze ilifika wakati daktari akaniambia uwezi kuwa na mume wako. Yeah, elewi. Aje. Huu ni bibi yangu. Hmm. Let no man get the sander. Yes. Mnataka uh -huh. niende wapi? Na baby. Hmm. Sasa hapo kulikuwa jendo ilikuwa how did you handle it? Sasa nimkalisha chini, nimueleze. Na yes. wewe kama mwanamke, did you feel like you letting your husband down and you still need to support your child were you torn in between kusema kweli hakuna torn in between it is my life yes na kuna huyu mtoto so i have to make the decision and i chose me and my baby yes wow yes and at that at that, at that point he, he understood na akakuwa supportive oh wow throughout to the end Thank you. Wacha tumpigie makofi pengine anatazama. <laughs> <laughs> na sasa tukienda tu kidogo tuendelee mbele. Mm -hmm. Na sasa tufike mali pa leba. Kulikuwa na labors like kulikuwa na contractions labor ama kuliendaje? Mm. Tulisongeza siku ile anafaa kuzaa kama mara mbili. What do you mean? Ile siku nilikuwa kuna hiyo due date wanakuwekea mm -hmm. siku fulani unafaa kuzaa. Mm -hmm. But um, the more mimba ilikuwa inaendelea kuwa kubwa, mm -hmm. daktari anaona ninasumbukana mm. akaisongeza mbele sasa mbele ulikuza maybe 20th wakasema acha tuzongeshe ikwe 10th 16th 16th yes uh -huh. actually nilikuwa ni zae 22nd uh -huh. tukasongeza 16th, 16th. Uh -huh. kutoka 16th tena tukakuja tukasongeza uh -huh. i think around 4th or something uh -huh. then so tukapanga tukasema juu sasa i could singeweza kuzaa normal uh -huh. wakasema lazima itakuwa cs mbona ungeweza za because of that uh, membrane mm -hmm. yes okay. so katika hali ya kupush mm -hmm. ingekuwa touch and go Five minutes between mimi na mtoto mmoja aende mmoja abaki oh. yes. so it was danger ilikuwa red sign yes ungeza mtu mmoja angekufa yes oh. ama sote oh, yes. so before cs yes, ilikuwa tu nifanye blood work because that's a procedure you have to do before any 
going to the theater. So tukafanya nikatoka ilikuwa Saturday. Ni Friday nililala sakumi 4 a.m. Nikasikia mgongo imeanza. Nikajiambia ai hapana. Where is going anza? Labor na siku zipia zuko 38 weeks. Ai. Nikajishikilia tu. Nikaamka, nikakunywa chai, nikaoga. Nilikuwa na my big brother tulikuwa na hapo tuna nikamwambia nafaa kwenda hospitali but sitaweza ku drive so nitanisaidia twende na wewe unifanyie mm. blood work so that i have monday and tuesday kufanya ile final preparation before ni end so nikatoka tukatoka tukaenda tukaenda hapo ar george williamson so wakafanya blood work while i was still there kwa waiting room kwa one of the the, the rooms wakitoa damu leba ikaanza Tazama Rembo TV kwenye Star Times Channel 484 kwenye Satellite ama 113 kwenye Decoder.